training. Okay, so some of you may have heard that our gun policy, there's gonna be some training involved. Let me clarify something when it comes to training. I am not training people how to use firearms with the gun policy training. What we are training individuals on is on the policy and the implications of the policy. That's the formal training that will be offered. Now we do happen to have, for those of you who may know this, we do happen to have three firearm courses on our campus. You want to learn to take, shoot a gun, I recommend enrolling in one of those three courses with Dwayne Shepard and let him teach you. We are not offering outside of that how to use a firearm training. However, um, Dwayne Shepard, God bless him, has been kind enough to work up some many safety trainings that we are considering offering of, you know, what to do if you see a handgun somewhere, what to do if your roommate leaves theirs out, what to do if somebody leaves theirs in the classroom because it fell out of their backpack, things like that. Safety requirements. How to tell if there's a safety on it or not. Those kind of trainings, but not how to use a firearm. So I will clarify that. That is not part of the gun policy committee. You want to do that, three courses you can sign up for. We're hoping in March and April is our goal. That's what we're working on. Right. Because some of the things that are going to change or violations of it are going to be treated like violations of any other policies on campus on the employee side. But there are some changes on some of those things on how some of the criminal things could or could not be done in reporting wise. There is a bill currently right now um, that would exempt the employer from liability if an employee does something wrong with their gun on campus. Um, so there's some of those kind of training of where that, you know, wh where does that fall and what does that do? How to report violations? Because obviously I don't want gun violations reported to your supervisor. Just go ahead and call UPD. That kind of stuff. Let them sort out if it's really a violation or not. Don't, you know, kind of thing and that kind of stuff. We have not decided 100% if the gun policy committee, that was one of the things they had asked Dwayne to draw up for us so we could look at it, so we could determine as a committee if we wanted to add that in as well for concerns. I think initially it got brought up, and I'm like a I think it initially got brought up primarily with res life concerns that they may need something a little bit above and beyond for res life because it'll be there home where it's being stored at night. We're, if, if we offer it to anybody, it'll be open to everyone. Does that make sense? Yeah, if we offer it, it will be open to everyone. The committee was actually very clear in regards to that. There'd be no, we may break it out in groups because people will have different questions. I would expect faculty have different questions than my students.